And welcome once again to our review of the private barrel auction wines from this year's auction and hearing the words of the winemakers who have generously offered these wines for your review. And of course, we're joined right now by Brian Carter of Brian Carter Cellars, one of the great veterans. I think it's since 1977 he's been crafting wine here in Washington. So he has a few vintages. And welcome, Brian. Nice to see you. Bob, I will correct you. I, I arrived here in 1980. Um, oh, geez. Uh, so I, I, I've been a professional winemaker since 78. So I okay. worked in California for a couple of okay. years. But, um, well, but yeah, um, 43 vintages in Washington. Stand corrected. And you've got a few great wines and great vintages under your belt. And this year's private barrel auction wine is no exception. And Brian, you are typically you class yourself as a as a blending winemaker, taking great um, detail with a uh, bringing things together. And this year's offering is, let me look, three AVAs represented by two varieties from four different vineyards. And what are you doing with this wine? Well, I've uh, gotten into the habit of uh, coming out with this dedication wine. Um, the, the actual recipient of this dedication is yet to be named. Um, but um I, I basically I feel like there's so many great blends to be made in the world, and I I only get to make uh, half a dozen under my regular Brian Carter Sellers label, so I've taken on uh, this project of coming out with kind of a new different blend. I've I got all these different blends working up here, and we do already make a, um, a excuse me a uh, Rioja style blend, uh, which is primarily Tempranillo. Um, but I've always been intrigued by the by the more presence of Cabernet Sauvignon in Ribeiro del Duero and some uh, truly outstanding wines that are being made there. Um, uh, Vegas Cecilia would be an example. Yes. And, so this uh, wine, this wine is a blend here of the two varieties, and it's dominant. It is 65 percent, 64, 65 percent Tempranillo. The balance is Cabernet Sauvignon. And what do you get from the two varieties? Well, um, Tempranillo's varietal character has always been a little bit harder to pin down than Cabernet. Cabernet is, uh, is, is pretty obvious. So when you smell the wine in the glass, and I happen to have it here. I'll uh, join you. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, you do definitely get some uh, significant hit of, of Cabernet Sauvignon in there. But it, it's not just Cabernet. There's, there's some other stuff going on in there. So Absolutely. you get some of that black fruit from Cabernet, maybe just a, a, a very slight hint of herbaceous character, um, although the, the sources for my Cabernet in this are pretty warm sites. They're not particularly cool sites. And uh, so uh, anyway, some nice berry fruit out of that uh, Cabernet, but there's some little, uh, what I call smokiness, not not the negative connotation of smokiness, no, but no. There's, a, there's a natural smokiness that Tempranillo has. Um, and that's enhanced a little bit by some American oak that I use um, on this wine as well. Uh, so, um, and and some uh, black pepper, another uh, spice character that I get out of there that I think primarily comes from the Tempranillo. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, um, I've always struggled to identify Tempranillo because it's at one point, it's broad in its fruit profile, and yet it, there's still a certain penetration to it. And this wine is in there, plus those, uh, has that in there, plus these Cabernet notes, that side of slight dried underbrush, uh, dried thyme note to it. But you get this broad fruit profile that's very appealing. Um, it has purity, but breadth at the same time. It's a, it's a great, unique blend. I've tasted your blends for, what did you say? 43 years. Okay, I've been tasting your blends, and this is among the most exciting and compelling one I've tasted. I really enjoyed it. So, oh, folks, don't so miss this wine. Don't miss Brian at the private barrel auction tasting. And um, I want to thank Brian for his generous contribution, and thank you, all of you for joining us today, as well as coming out to the private barrel auction. Don't forget that everything that's raised at this auction goes to making greater Washington wines by research and education at Washington State University for the wine and grape program. See you all there. Hope, hope to all see you all at the auction. Should be a lot of fun. Thank you, Brian. Okay, thank you.